Hey everyone, I'm Marina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a shop update preview. The shop update will be this Friday, March 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time at pineappleyarn.com. I will have a lot of tonals and colorways along with some mini skein sets for my sixth anniversary. Just as a quick reminder, I have all of my April Club pre-orders still in stock in the shop. That includes my Fiber Club, my Mini Mystery Club, as well as my Glow Club and Sun Club. <laughs> so if you're in the mood to check out some yarn clubs, I have them available as a one-time purchase or as a, as a subscription. So go on over to the shop and check them out. I'll put a link down below. The first item I am going to be having in my shop update is this gorgeous mini skein set and I dyed this just for my sixth anniversary and if you were here last year you'll remember for my fifth anniversary I dyed the first colorway I ever dyed which is Ala Moana and this year I thought it'd be fun to mix it up a little bit and dye a beautiful mini skein gradient set. So this is a set of nine mini skeins and they are so beautiful in these really punchy colors. And they go from this beautiful kind of limey green all the way to this gorgeous uh, pinky purple color. And I did this for a number of reasons. I know so many of you love mini skeins and with nine of these, it it's almost equal to two full skeins of fingering weight yarn or two full skeins of DK. I will have these available on fingering and DK. Um, the total weight will be, it'll be 800 minus 20. <laughs> so that's 780 grams. Um, so you have a good amount of yarn here to do something really fabulous with. Um, I think it would be gorgeous to take a set like this and throw in a full skein and just, you know, use up each mini skein and then put another accent of a color. The first two colors that come to mind as accents for this set um, obviously, I think glow worm, which would be, it would just be so beautiful and it would uh, match these areas, but then contrast with all of these. But if you didn't want kind of a matchy matchy, you could also pair another tonal like princess with some of these colors and then switch to this as you uh, move along your fade. And you know, honestly, that would be such a great stash buster to put some of these tonals or if you had another speckle that would coordinate with these and just put them in between. I think that that would look really, really neat. So this uh, nine skein mini skein set, will it, I dyed it specifically for my sixth anniversary, which is here in the month of March. And I will only be dyeing this one time this is the only time and so I did dye up um, sets of fingering weight as well as a DK weight and those will be in the shop but I will not be restocking them so if you're interested definitely uh, you will want to check out the update on Friday so the first tonal I'll be restocking is pale peach and I mean I just love this beautiful tonal it's light and bright and cheerful, but it's definitely more subtle than some of my crazier speckled colorways. I specifically dyed it to go along with Ala Moana, which I'll also be restocking, and this was my fifth anniversary colorway, which I just spoke of. And so those two look really, really pretty together and just so springy. I just, I really, really like those. And actually pale peach would also look really good with this mini skein set as well. Uh, that looks really pretty together. But anyway, pale peach is back in stock. My next tonal I will be restocking is cloud nine. And this is a really beautiful, clear uh, lavender color. And so it's very tonal. So you do get some variations of tonal purples, a little bit of pink in there. 
it is a really really gorgeous lavender colorway and as you can tell it really looks great with this mini skein set as well and that's actually a thought with this mini skein set um, something I forgot to mention mini skein sets work great with stripes in a larger project but you can also take them out you know take a few skeins out and use them in different projects you don't have to use them all together so it might be fun you know to use cloud nine in a set maybe take out um, maybe use half of the mini skeins and maybe just put in five of these colors with this cloud nine i think that looks really really pretty together but that's just an idea and cloud nine just looks gorgeous and i have really been wanting a sweater with this and an undyed skein and just make like chunky stripes at for spring i just i've really been wanting to knit that up but uh maybe someday <laughs> i do like this color a lot though this is cloud nine and with all of these colors i will be restocking the bases that i don't currently have in the shop and the bases that i maintain in the shop are my lani sock lani dk gold nani twist and my noe mohair silk and so those will be restocked if they are out of stock in the shop uh, the next color i have is bubble gum and it is a really light and bright pink and i don't know if i would it truly is the color of bubble gum i don't know if i don't think i would call it a neon it's definitely bright it's not uh, i mean you know it's pink <laughs> like there's no there's no doubt about it and I'll show you next to Princess. You can definitely tell a difference between these two. Princess is much more saturated than Bubblegum, but Bubblegum is uh, its definitely pink. I love it. It goes together just with so many different shades and colorways. So I thought I needed to put that back in the shop. My next colorway is Bright Mint. I will be restocking it. I love this color and i have just i've really really been into this color lately so much so that i think i'm going to dye some fiber just in this tonal color and spin it and use furry ply in a project just one ply it's very it's it's a thought it might happen <laughs> but this is just a really really beautiful mint color but it definitely is it's light, it's bright, it's very clear, and it's very vibrant, but it's still pale. It's not a saturated shade. So I'm also restocking Neon Jade, and I'll just show you these two colors side by side. I love these greens so much. And I wouldn't necessarily call myself a green person, but I think these together just look so, so pretty. And let me compare uh, Glowworm next to them. So you can see that Glowworm is a lot more yellow and then Neon Jade has a lot more blue in it. So those are so pretty. I think these would be just gorgeous in a project together. Okay, like I talked about earlier, my, um, my beautiful fifth anniversary colorway is Ala Moana and I released this last year. And I hadn't dyed it for a long time, but this was basically the first colorway I ever sold in my shop, <laughs> which is exciting. And it's just so beautiful. It has all these gorgeous peaches and grays uh, paired with these warm speckles. I hope you can see those. It's just a very, oh, it's just such a pretty spring colorway. So it obviously, I just showed you this. It looks great with pale peach. I also like it with my dusty sage color and this is on my gold nani twist base it's so pretty with the gold stellina in it it's a very very pretty it complements the color really well so that looks good you can even um, put oyster with it those two i think look so pretty but there's a lot of different colors you can use with this um, scallop looks good as well. I do have a few skeins of scallop left in the shop right now, but isn't that beautiful? That's such a pretty combination. I really love that. And this and scallop's so pretty. It's just kind of a warm terracotta color. It's just beautiful. 
So that is all of Moana back in the shop. And here is Deep Dive. I have not had this in the shop for quite a while. I'm so excited to be bringing it back. This is a super saturated, uh, beautiful combination of this clear blue and it has loads and loads of speckles all over it. So the colors that look great with Deep Dive are Princess. Princess looks good with everything. <laughs> I love Glowworm with it as well. Those two just are beautiful. If you wanted a purple with it, Cloud9 is so pretty. It does have just a little bit of purple here and there. And so Cloud9 does pick up on that. And so you could really make this skein shine if you put maybe two other more subtle colors with it. Those look really pretty. Let's try Neon Jade. Oh yes, this looks really pretty. So it really makes some of these green speckles pop. You could do um, Glow Worm with it. You could do Bright Mint with it. I think that's really pretty. It really makes the blue pop. So pretty. So this is Deep Dive back in the shop. Here's another very speckly colorway. This is Palm Springs and it is gorgeous. It has all these really gorgeous pops of pinks and greens. There's actually two different colors of green in here. And this just looks fabulous with Neon Jade. That just is very, very beautiful. It also looks great with Princess, of course. <laughs> Those look really pretty. And I'm just really loving the greens right now. Here it is with uh, Glow Worm. Glow Worm looks pretty with it, as well as Bright Mint. I just, I love those. But I mean, this colorway is just full of all different speckles and it's a fun one. And it's so fun to knit up because of all the speckles. So it's really pretty if you are looking to maybe bridge two colors. So if you have, you know, if you have a pink in your stash and you have a green and you really are not sure how to put the two together, um, this makes a great transition between colors as well. And um, I really like it for that. So Palm Springs back in the shop. The next colorway I will be restocking is Golden Kiwi. And this is a new colorway that I just introduced, I think my last shop update. And it's just a beautiful blend of super bright greens and yellows with speckles. And it is a, I just, I really love this. It's so sunny and bright. And obviously, I mean, it looks just so fabulous with greens and yellows. So if you wanted to do a shawl, let's say you want to make a shawl and you wanted it to be predominantly green. I mean, you could pair those together. You could put a yellow with it. Um, here it is with Dusty Sage. That really makes an interesting trio of greens. I think that looks really interesting. You could even pair it with Oyster if you wanted to make this colorway shine in it. I think these two um, more gray based colors look great with the speckles. I think it really uh, complements the speckles well. I do have a sock started um, using this colorway and it's still on my machine. <laughs> I need to take it off and finish it, but I will share that with you uh, when I get it finished. But this is a really fun colorway. It knits up so fun. So Golden Kiwi back in stock. My next colorway, which has been a favorite for a, it seems like a long time, is Fortunately Pink. And this is a colorway that I had originally dyed for a kit. And so I had this beautiful fabric that I sewed project bags from and dyed yarn to match the project bags. And this is what resulted and I just could not be happier with it. It is so incredibly beautiful. This pink, lots of delicate speckles, lots of punches of pinks, bright pink speckles, but then you have some of these warm peachy shades in here too. And it is 
really just so beautiful. I love this. I love it knit up. So some colors that look good with it. Pale Peach just complements it perfectly. It looks so beautiful. And Bubble Gum as well. I mean, those three just look outstanding together. Now, if you wanted to go a little bolder, obviously Princess is really going to pair well with these bright pink speckles. And I'm wondering if you wanted to do it a little, you want to go a little warmer, what would it look like if you did scallop and pale peach together? I really like that. This is actually really, really pretty. You have some kind of earthy toned speckles in here. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but there are some darker colored speckles and the scallop really pulls those out and coordinates with it. I actually really love these two together. If you had, wow, if you had a, a two skein project, I think these two would look so pretty together. Surprisingly, I don't think I would have put them together unless I was sitting right here talking to you, but yes, these two look beautiful together. So fortunately, pink back in stock. Here's another very saturated, very punchy shade for you. This is Starstruck, and I have not restocked this in quite a while, but it is so gorgeous. I love it so much. It has this gorgeous kind of pinky cherry red along with just so many different speckles. So many, they are so pretty together. I love Cloud Nine with this. I think these two colors together are just Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I love bright mint with it as well. So I think those two look so pretty together. You could put bubble gum with it. If you had Solar Flare, uh, which is my kind of neon orange shade, that would be gorgeous. Coral Conch would be gorgeous. So you know what I really, really like though? I really love Cloud9 with it. It's just so different. I mean, you don't see a lot of reds and purples together, but um, because the red is so cool toned, it has some blue in it, it just, it looks really pretty. So Starstruck is back in stock. My next colorway I will be restocking is Island Capiz. And this is a very beautiful colorway. If you love neons and speckles, this is a gorgeous colorway for spring because there's just so many different kind of neon speckles throughout. And you've got this beautiful kind of neon cantaloupe shade. This is, oh, I just love this. And it goes beautifully with Glowworm, it looks fabulous with Bright Mint. Those two look so gorgeous together. And let's see, it really looks beautiful with Princess as well. Though I do, like I said, I've really been into greens, so it looks awesome with greens. And you know, one colorway that would complement it really well if you're trying to do a fade, more of a gradual fade, Fortunately, pink looks really pretty next to Island Capiz, and those two would really complement each other well and maybe bring some other colors in because you've got these uh, beautiful speckles. So this would be, these two are really pretty side by side. They are, um, they don't, they are not contrasty so much, but they complement each other well. So Island Capiz is just a beautiful springtime, summertime colorway, and it's really, really gorgeous. So it will be back in stock. After a long time, it has been a really long time since I stocked any fiber in the shop, and it wasn't for lack of wanting to. It was just that I run out of time with my updates. So I was able to squeeze a few braids in this week. Um, I shouldn't say braids. These are purely for photos and they will come loosely packaged, but 
I will have uh, quite a bit of fiber in the shop, so I'm excited to share that with you. This is a gorgeous colorway, and it is called Balmy Nectar, and I dyed it on this beautiful base. I hope you can see it. It's a gorgeous merino with some sparkle in it. And I just think it is, this is just so, so gorgeous. And it has all these beautiful kind of orangey colors and pinks and warm shades. And the, um, the sparkle in it just adds so much just shine. It's not a, it's more of a subtle, uh, a subtle sparkle. It's not kind of in your face super bright sparkly <laughs> it's really gorgeous and the fiber itself is just so soft so uh, this is called balmy nectar and it will be in stock the next fiber i will be stocking uh, this colorway is called summer sunrise and as you can tell it is just a beautiful blend of lavenders and cantaloupe and uh, pinks and these beautiful kind of um, sandy brown tones. It's just really, really gorgeous. And I dyed this up on a merino and bamboo blend. So you have all the bamboo running through the fiber. This would just be such a fun spin. I really, really liked how this turned out. I think it's so beautiful. So this is Summer Sunrise. The next two colorways I will have on Superwash Merino Nylon and Polworth and Cheviot. So it'll be your choice of fiber with these colorways. But this one is called Beach Bonfire. And I just think it's so pretty. It has all of these bright pinks and kind of neon red tones, like really saturated bright tones oranges, plums. It's just, it's so pretty. And this uh, fiber that I'm showing you right now is Superwash Merino Nylon. And so it does take the dye a little bit differently. It leaves more um, pale tones in the fiber, which I love. And I actually leave that on purpose just to add some variation to your spinning. The uh, non-Superwash fibers, Cheviot, Polworth, those will blend more together and leave less undyed areas. So it'll be a little more saturated, but I will take photos of everything and have them in the listings. But this one is just, oh, it's so beautiful. I really love it. So this one is called Beach Bonfire. Finally, I have a colorway called Tide Pool Magic. And I just love this colorway so much. It has a beautiful saturated uh, kind of ultraviolet purple on it with some lighter pinks and greens, as you can see, kind of some light greens, dark greens. And this is a superwash merino nylon, so you do have some of those lighter areas. And I just think that this would be beautiful spun up. You would really provide an interesting spin. So again, I will have this on Superwash Merino Nylon, Cheviot, and Polworth. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'd love if you'd give this a thumbs up if you loved this episode, if you love checking out all of these goodies. Again, my shop update will be this Friday, March 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time at pineappleyarn.com, and I hope to see you there. Until then, I hope you have an awesome day. Bye!